from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. Oh, what a day. Temperatures in the 70s and snow in the evening. Yeah, it's that time of year. So we've had some bands of snow, mainly light snow, occasionally a little bit of moderate snow. And now that's all in the northeast core of the state. But that goes back down to around the Claremore area. We've had a few flurries reported here in Tulsa as well. So what's the plan? Well, that's just boot scooting on out of here, so that's not going to be a big deal. And what was a big deal, unfortunately, were for the folks down to the southeast, that green that you see those counties, that's tornado watches. We had multiple tornado warnings, multiple tornado touchdowns. It's still a very active weather pattern. Cold front starting to slice into that warm, moist air. Most of the dynamics have moved north, but it's still very, very active at this time. And then we're just getting the cold air coming in from out of the high plains. So it is a cold night across a big chunk of the area. Can you tell where the cold front is? Pretty easy. Uh, you see how much of the area is covered with cold air. And then that boundary now has moved through Chicago, St. Louis, down to Dallas. Continues to move southeast. Notice how warm and humid it is down in this zone. That's why we have the bad weather. And notice how cold it is to the north. Yeah, we're watching this because there's snow totally covering almost the entire uh, country of Canada. And so we're now seeing temperatures 20, 24 below zero in several areas. That's getting back into Alaska around Fairbanks as well. And so what we're talking about is some serious cold. So this is what we start watching for for these major outbreaks of Arctic air. This isn't an Arctic outbreak. This is just cold, kind of typical, some Canadian air coming across the area. Unfortunately, it's conflicting, obviously, with that warm, moist air. Uh, as we go through tomorrow, we have a very cold day, but it's not a terrible day. The winds will be light. The sun will be out. That, that's a good combination. We quickly then go back to late Friday night, some drizzle. It'll be mild on Friday, but we do have a chance some drizzle Friday night, another quick moving cold front. So it'll be another shot of cold air on Saturday. And then we're kind of in a boundary location of ride in the zone between uh, the jet stream where we're going to kind of fluctuate back and forth. And that's just going to give us a cold shot, kind of a little bit milder, maybe a few areas of showers and colder again. So it's this up and down thing that we're doing because these storm systems are coming through so fast. It's not allowing for the real cold air to sink all the way through Oklahoma. So that's a good thing if you don't want to freeze to death, I guess. We'll look at the bright side there. But we do have a chance of a few things going on. Obviously, we have our flurries tonight. And we do have a chance of drizzle trying to form a Friday night. And then as we go on into Sunday, into Monday, probably our best chance of some scattered showers around the area. After that, not a whole lot happening as we go through next week, except for temperature roller coaster ride. Man, are we on that roller coaster ride? It continues to just keep on going. And so we don't see a whole lot of changes coming up. Maximum wind speeds today, we're hanging about 30 to 40 miles an hour. The strongest winds are 44 coming in around Veneta. We have our snow to the northeast now. Temperatures are in the 30s across the area. Cold night with wind chills already in the 20s. <laughs> What's our temperatures that are hanging out right around the Tulsa area? Well, we're hanging at 35 degrees at this moment. We have a north-northwest wind still gusting to 33. Air's bone dry, and our temperatures are hanging in the 30s. And again, as we go through tonight and into the morning hours, not a whole lot going on, just cold. The winds will die down, so tomorrow looks pretty decent. We have highs in the 40s. Yeah, that's cold. But again, without the wind and some sun, it's kind of a win, win a little bit. 20s early Thursday morning and cold. And then here come a lot of clouds again by late Thursday afternoon. We'll be in the 50s. On Friday, we'll have temperatures in the 60s. Notice they'll be in the 70s out to the west. Not too bad. And as we look on into Saturday, temperatures will be in the 40s. Lots of Christmas parades going on Thursday night and again on into Saturday. All right. In the meantime, tomorrow, eh, it's going to be a cold start. And then we're talking about 41 noontime. By the time we get on into the afternoon, we're at a blazing. 46 degrees. And then as we move on in, we're in the 50s, then we go to the 60s. Friday, there's that chance of drizzle for Friday night for the uh, area high school football games. It'll be out in central Oklahoma and around eastern Oklahoma. And then you see a better chance of bogging down with some rain on Sunday into Monday. Not much, just enough to be a nuisance more than a good help.